and preparing for battle. Each guy with his own approach to getting ready for what should be an excellent matchup. All right, everyone. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, Brian. CJ McCollum is looking to evolve his game. He said, quote, I can get out of bed and get 20. Now I need to score efficiently, make my teammates better, and impact the game in every facet. You get older, the maturity level shifts, and you understand what needs to be done. Guys? Well, looking to show how he can impact winning, Allie. Thanks for that. And both teams tonight, unafraid to run offense through their bigs, Grant. Talk about the value of being able to do that. Yeah, B.A., you know, it just speaks to how both teams can beat you in multiple ways of playing. I think it can lead to higher percentage looks with the bigs running the offense. You can strike a nice balance between inside and out, which coaches are preaching right now. All right, let's take a look go. at New Orleans starting lineup. In at forward, it's Ingram and Williamson. McCullum and Jones, the tandem in the backcourt. And it's Valanchunas in at the five. And for the Lakers, we've got LeBron James. Anthony Davis is out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's D'Angelo Russell. And it's Reeves in at the two. Here's Ingram. Pass to McCullum. And here's Valanchunas. Checked by Davis. Now Jones. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. You know, back in college in 2020, Herb Jones broke his left wrist. Less than two weeks after surgery, Jones was back on the floor. And Herbert Jones, what a tough customer, playing with a huge cast on that wrist. You know, B.A., how hard that is. He played with just one hand at the end of that 2020 season in school. Herb Jones is a fighter. Despite being a second-round pick, he made an immediate impact in this league. An area where the Pelican squad performed well this past season was on the glass. Yeah, defensively and offensively. Now, they know how important it is to secure those loose balls, and making it a priority helped them all season long. Over the years, no team in the NBA has had more star power than the Lakers. They always have at least one future Hall of Famer on the roster. Here's Reeves. Here's Davis. Rebounded by Ingram. And we're about a minute into the first. Set up, set up. Pass to Williamson. McCullum outside. Puts up a three. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. You know, when we talk about the Lakers, you expect them to have a superstar. B.A., starting with Wilt in the 60s, then Kareem during the 70s, Magic dominating the 80s, and more recently, Shaq and Kobe, LeBron and AD, the biggest names, flock to L.A. Now here's Ingram. Valanchunas with a screen on James. And Davis with the block. The combination of agility and reach makes AD a lethal defender, capable of sending shots back from anywhere. Here's Russell. Pass to Vanderbilt. Now, here is James. Davis with a screen on Ingram. And there's James from the arc on target from range. It was already difficult enough to stop LeBron. Now he's got the consistency from range. Here's Valanchunas. McCullum with it. Shot clock at six. Can't connect from 14. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Ingram against James. The three from Russell. And the Lakers hit again from deep. The awareness of LeBron knows where everyone is on the floor at all times. McCullum against Russell. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on C.J. McCollum. That's his first foul. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. A remarkable defensive play. The replay showing once again the tenacity on that end. 
I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Inside. And there's James on the assist by Russell. James has gotten a second bucket on the night. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. Williamson outside. Oh, the block just stops it cold and takes possession. For three, James. The Pelicans pull it in. It's a two-point differential. Outside Jones. Pass to Ingram. Now here's McCollum. Alan Chunas with a screen on Russell. Here's McCollum. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. On offense, here are the Lakers. It's been eight unanswered for them. Davis with a screen on Ingram. To the middle. Fade away. Davis can't hit. The Pelicans have gone two of six to open up this game. McCollum, the pass to Ingram. Pass to Valanchunas. Shoots from 12. That one off the back iron and out. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. James passes to Davis. Up and over McCollum. And that one goes. Feeding him with a lead pass. Hard to stop even when you know it's coming. LeBron waits for just the timeout, right timeout. moment. Delivers the perfect pass. New Orleans calls timeout. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Bamba's checked in for Anthony Davis. Hachimura comes in for Vanderbilt. Beasley's checked in for LeBron. And it's Schroeder in for Russell. We've got 108 left in the first quarter. Here's Alvarado, covered by Schroeder. Daniels misses. Los Angeles has gone two for three from outside the arc. Pass to Schroeder. Beasley outside. Six on the shot clock. Out to Schroeder. And they get it back. And no good to start the night. Missing his first attempt there. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Marshall. Here's Daniels. That's the screen. To stop the drought. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Bamba.
12 seconds left in the first. Just two to shoot. Murphy. And the Pelicans miss again. Beasley for three. No good on the buzzer beater. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Lakers ahead, up by four. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen from the Lakers, what's your take so far? Well, I think it's pretty obvious they were well prepared defensively coming in. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also, keeping them out of sync. You know, some have said those old school power forwards, guys like Charles Oakley, they're becoming outdated. Do you see that, Grant? Well, first of all, the physicality in the game is no more. The way Oakley would hit you and bruise you, you can't do that in today's game. And guys like Oakley are now playing the five position, and they're shooting three-pointers. So a lot of it just is because the game has changed and evolved since the 90s when Oakley dominated. A great skill level in the game right now. No question. Rui Hachimura is out there with Mobamba. Then it's Dennis Schroeder. Then it's Malik Beasley. And it's Reeves in at the shooting guard position. That's the group for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. Now here's Richardson. Nance the screen. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. This is what you want. Put the defender in a position where he has to foul you to stop you. Richardson can be a tricky cover. The Pelicans were pretty impressive last season, managing to successfully battle their way into the playoffs through a tough play-in tournament. First free throw is good. You know, in that play-in, the Pelicans faced some serious competition, Smitty. B.A., they defeated the Spurs and the Clippers, which was no easy task. But the Pelicans were ready for the challenge and ended up securing a playoff berth. And the Pelicans making a change here. Valanchunas, he's checked in for Nance. Zion Williamson comes in for Murphy. Brandon Ingram is checked in for Marshall. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Alvarado. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Pass to Russell. And then Russell with the dunk. And you see the team first mentality of Anthony Davis wanting to involve his teammates. McCullum, the pass to Valanchunas. And he makes it on the layup. High percentage look. This is what your offense is designed to do. The Lakers in the lead. James, outside. Left side, Davis. And then Davis punches it home! Entertaining fans and embarrassing opponents. AD showing us what it's all about. Second quarter, a little over a minute and a half in. Alan Chunas with a screen on James. Ingram up top. Checked by James. The shot by Ingram. No good. The Lakers have got two of three shots to go in the second. Williamson against Achimura. Pass to Beasley. From deep. Rebounded by Ingram. The Pelicans have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Alan Chunas with a screen on Davis. From 11 feet away, it doesn't go for him. And Los Angeles the other way now. The one thing you know you'll always get with Valanchunas, he's going to rebound. Offense, defense, no matter what, he's attacking the glass. Two points. That one goes. Davis has gotten four this quarter. Anthony Davis has been huge on the offensive glass, using his length to get second chance points. Russell against McCollum. Pass to Richardson. 
There's the drive. He can't get it to go. Some solid D from Beasley. And with his size and reach, Valanciunas is a monster on the boards, Grant. That is true. I mean, impossible to move in the paint. He gets a wide base and just vacuums missed shots. And his great touch allows him to rack up second chance points as well. And the Pelicans with possession here. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. Valanciunas with a screen on Russell. Here's McCollum. And again, no good by New Orleans. For Los Angeles, they've gone four for seven in the second quarter. Pass to James. Here's Davis. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. The Pelicans trail. Ingram with the ball. Looking for his first basket still in this one. To the inside. Here's Valanciunas. Only a few guys in the league are going to give you more double-doubles than Jonas Valanciunas. And as his career goes on, he only gets more of them. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. They're unselfish. They're passing the ball well, setting up teammates, playing team basketball, and their focus. Man, they're just having their way, bullying the other team in the painted area, imposing their will down there whenever they want. The free throw drops for Valanciunas. He's a big man who plays to his strengths. Valanciunas offers a lot of grit and toughness. And some changes here for the Lakers. Bamba's checked in for Davis. Vanderbilt comes in for Achimura. And it's Schroeder in for Beasley. And Valanciunas drops them both. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. Pass to James. And it's James with the jam. Dunking is second nature to LeBron. All he needs is ideal positioning, and he's golden. Well, Smitty, and in terms of numbers, Valanciunas has been good for a double-double in about two out of every three games the past few years. You know, B.A., it speaks to his commitment to being an all-around force, not just a low-post scoring machine. Schroeder finds James. Screen by Bamba. Up and over McCollum. The shot by James. No good. 121 left in the second. Spins. Pass to Murphy. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Jones. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. Schroeder passes to James. Screen by Bamba. Shoots from 12. James can't get it to go. And you'd like to go two for one here, Grant. And at the same time, you want to get a good shot here, B.A. Jones against Russell. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's on LeBron James. You know, this Lakers team is running with one of the most veteran squads in the league, Smitty. Tons of experience and wisdom on their bench. These are all battle-tested guys, B.A., who know how to overcome tough situations and win games. That free throw, no good. Smitty, the challenges of being a small market team are very real for the Pelicans. You know it's tough to attract big-name talent or get stars willing to invest in your franchise. B.A., but the Pelicans are doing what they can to overcome it. Reeves is checked in for Los Angeles. Good on the second one. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And here's James. He's got seven. James can't get that one to fall. If you can, use up the clock en route to the last shot. But you know, this is where your patience is tested. If you shoot too quickly, you give your opponent a chance to close out the quarter. Here's Alvarado. Over Schroeder. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Lakers ahead. They're up by five.
And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. We're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. You gotta like what Anthony Davis has done in this game. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. And here are the Pelicans now. Second half underway. Here's who Willie Green's got on the floor. Jones and Ingram run the wings. Zion and Valanchunas playing up front. And it's McCullum at the point guard position. James against Ingram. Five on the clock. Over James. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And when Pelicans fans watch what Ingram has become, it takes the sting out of the Anthony Davis trade, Greg. Yeah, I mean, Ingram has grown into a full-fledged star in New Orleans. I mean, he's a centerpiece for the franchise going forward. Now, looking back, it seems like it was a win-win trade for both teams. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. one falls for him. You know, I love that Brandon Ingram continues to grow his game. We've seen him get better at moving the ball, which only makes him more versatile on the floor. That one's no good. You know, Brandon Ingram has turned himself into a dominant three or four in this league. His versatility has him playing all around the floor. Now here's Vanderbilt. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Williamson inside. Working on Vanderbilt. Williamson is double. Here's McCollum. Rebounded by the Lakers. Well, Smitty asked for Ingram. Playing a bigger role the last few years. And that rode huge on the offensive side. B.A. averaging over 20 points per game the last three seasons. Becoming a real headache for the defense. Russell, that's good. Oh, defenses try to get physical with Russell, but he has great body control and composure. Tough to throw him off his game. Now here's McCollum. Valanchunas with a screen on Russell. Here's McCollum. The shot no good. Some solid defense from Russell. James with the ball. McCollum covering. Here's Vanderbilt. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got five assists in the game. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, and with a finish like that, you know he's looking to extend the lead and put this game out of reach. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Alan Chunas with a screen on Russell. Here's McCollum. Here's Williamson. And the layup is good off the glass. Whether it be rebounding, driving the ball, in transition, Zion always looking to attack. Davis with a screen on Ingram. Here's James. And again, it's the Lakers. He can do incredible things. He can also help you win by simply being reliable. Ingram against James. On the wing, Jones. McCullum outside. Alan Chunas with a screen on Russell. That won't go either for McCullum. At some point, when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. Russell to pass to Davis. Davis. 
Pass to Reeves. Over Jones. The three. The Pelicans pull it in. Valanciunas has got five rebounds in the game. Russell against McCullum. And here's Ingram. To the paint. Valanciunas down low. Vanderbilt pulls it in. Missed opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. James with the ball. He's picked up by Jones. Here's Davis. Ooh, give him his fifth make of the game in 10 attempts. These close-range shots are Davis's bread and butter. He is a consistent scorer inside. And the Pelicans call time here. A new group getting ready for the Lakers. Bamba's checked in for Davis. Hachimura comes in for Vanderbilt. Beasley's checked in for James. And it's Schroeder in for Russell. to Marshall here's Daniels well he hasn't put up any points yet in this one and so he draws the foul headed to the line to shoot a pair it's going to be on Mo Bamba as one of the top two-way players in the draft Daniels was on a lot of teams radar and that kind of versatility will always get a player some attention Can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. For Los Angeles, they've gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Schroeder finds Beasley, lets the three fly. No good there. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Daniels. And he drives in. Another shot. And the rebound by Bamba. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. They set the pick. Schroeder into the lane. He's off on that one. He liked to have that one back. That's easy money. One ten left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Daniels. And again, New Orleans, no good. 
I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. The Pelicans trail. There's 42 seconds left in the third quarter. And out of bounds, the Lakers will take it. And you've got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. And for the Lakers, they're shooting 40% since the break. Pass to Reeves. Back to Schroeder. Here's Beasley. No good that time. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. There's 21 seconds left in the third. Here's Nance. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. The Pelicans making a switch here. The Lakers in the lead. Now Schroeder. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Screen by Bamba. And so it's Los Angeles with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. More 2K action in just a moment. now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. They've got Dennis Schroeder. Rui Hachimura is out there with Jared Vanderbilt. And then it's Anthony Davis. And it's Russell in at the point. That's the Laker five. Pass to Schroeder. Clock at six. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. And it's Russell. That time on the assist from Schroeder. And the Lakers lead by nine. And Schroeder entrusted to run this offense, making the right call. Now here's Jones. Valanchunas passes to McCollum. Pass to Ingram over Achimura. The shot by Ingram, no good. And for the Lakers, they're shooting 40% from the field in this one. Here's Russell. On the wing, Davis over Valanchunas. Davis misses. Williamson finds Ingram over Ashimura. Second chance effort. And Valanchunas puts it in. Gotta love the big man Valanchunas fighting for that extra chance. And he was rewarded for his effort. Outside Russell. Davis with a screen on McCullum. The three from Russell. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pass to McCollum. Outside Jones. Fades. Misses off the left iron. Went to the fadeaway. Didn't need to, though. Probably cost him some points. And he lays in the alley-oop pass. Back in the day, big man would carry your offense. Times have changed. 
but AD's one who can still do it. New Orleans calls timeout. You gotta like what Anthony Davis has done in this game. The man has been relentless scoring inside, attacking the rim every chance he gets. Their defense has been powerless to stop him. We'll see what adjustments they make coming out of this timeout. James has checked in for the Lakers. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Willie Green coaching his team during that last break. He was trying to ignite some fire, saying, where's the fight, you guys? You know we can compete with this team, but we're letting them run all over us. We've got to level up the aggressiveness. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Allie. Here's Williamson. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Valanchunas with a screen on James. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. James with the block. Great positioning by LeBron and timing on that block shot. That'll be a five-second call. When you're trying to cut into a lead, you can't afford that kind of mistake. You know what it is, a lack of concentration. That's a momentum killer. Los Angeles has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Davis with a screen on Jones. Let's a floater go. And Schroeder lays it in. And now an 11-point Los Angeles lead. For New Orleans, they've gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. Here's McCollum, and Davis with the block. It's James on the wing, covered by Ingram. Tries the nine-footer, and James finishes it off. And the Lakers lead by 13. And now we get a little perspective here on how the hustle game has been for the Lakers. It's easy for me. Look at their defensive effort all game. The block total shows their commitment to contesting shots. They're also finding a lot of points tonight off the transition play. Running the floor and using the fast break to beat the defense. Now here's Russell. Back to James. And slam dunk by James. Their offense has been unstoppable. Just firing on all cylinders. It's been tremendous job of play calling and execution. They just continue to increase this lead. Here's Valanchunas. McCullum pass to Williamson. Now here's Ingram. Six to shoot. To stop the run. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. Williamson's got three assists tonight. Grant, wouldn't be a bad idea here to slow it down. Yeah, the coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. When you look at the career that LeBron has put together, one of the all-time greats, amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. And the immense pressure LeBron has had since day one of the NBA. Many others would have folded, Grant. The very true B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top five player all time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into the league, much less a high schooler. That one's off. No one can make headlines like LeBron. 
there was a ton of buzz when he talked about teaming up with his son in the NBA someday. Reeves has checked in for Schroeder. And he's good on the second. You know, whether it happens or not, I think everyone would like to see LeBron and his son play together, Smitty. B.A., I think it will be one of the coolest things to take place in the league. We've seen it in other sports, but for it to happen in the NBA, it would be awesome. And Davis with the block. Russell with the ball. McCollum covering. Down low. And it's James with the jam. Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. Now here's Ingram. Alan Chuna sets a screen. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. McCullum on the wing. Valanchunas sets a screen. Puts one up from 19. Good. He hits the jumper. This is why you have to stay attached to C.J. McCullum. He can bury it from anywhere on the floor. Barring a miracle comeback, this one is wrapped up. They were able to control the tempo and flow of the game, and it will end in a victory for the Lakers. I'd say the rim protection really turned things around in their favor. <laughs> yeah, their defensive rotations have been superb. They've been trying to challenge every shot. I love their effort. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for LeBron James. Ooh, he put on a clinic tonight. Terrific vision, sees the whole floor, and he hits guys in their spots with pinpoint dives. McCollum with another miss. Russell against McCollum. Russell to pass to Vanderbilt. And here's Davis. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Lakers lead by 18. Ugh, leaving nothing to chance. This run shutting the door on him. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. Russell with the ball. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one, showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what, give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Anthony, it was a great team victory tonight. What satisfied you most about this win? Oh, we just play hard. You know, we just played for each other. The ball was moving, wasn't sticking. And, you know, God made the right plays. You know, and that's what we've been doing all night, all season. And you know, I'm just glad we came out with the win. Selfless basketball is a beautiful thing, guys. Allie, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Thanks for joining us tonight as we present our New Balance player of the game, LeBron James.